Hallows Eve and All Hallows Day in multiple different types of, of occult religious uh, celebrations is all about this common belief in the various pagan, Wiccan, satanic uh, groups that uh, this was the day when the membrane, the veil of separation between the spiritual realm and the physical realm was the thinnest or weakest. And this uh, common belief in these various um, uh, religious groups, and it's a religion, these various religious groups that the dead could cross over into the world of the living, and that the living could cross over likewise into the realm of the dead, converse with spirits, dead relatives, demons, and get knowledge, information, direction, uh, knowledge about the future, etc., and then safely return to this physical realm with that uh, knowledge. And so this walking between the world of the nether regions and the dead and the living, um, from a uh, biblical perspective, within this audience, which I think is, is largely a church-oriented uh, type of a community, um, uh, you know, the uh, warnings in Scripture against um, trying to talk with the dead and um, converse with the dead, necromancy, um, uh, going to sorcerers to uh, do spells or to get information or learn the future, uh, these practices, every one of them that is talked about in this a Halloween celebration is something that is um, uh, specifically warned against in a biblical setting, uh, in a Jewish or Christian setting, uh, or in a Muslim setting, as being um, an abomination to God and even worthy of death. Uh, and yet, it's practiced uh, casually. Um, I sent you a picture the other day uh, from a uh, church where they had this huge banner out in front of the church about uh, the big Halloween celebration uh, for the kids and, uh, you know, everybody, you know, coming in with their costumes and for the big Halloween celebration and, um, you know, right there in the church. Well, if you understand the origins of, of Halloween and this whole religious operation, I don't think you can um, reconcile that with um, a Christian true faith uh, position, and it's part of this undermining of the church and uh, religion, um, you know, in our world. You know, one of the things that when you did your interview or your thing yesterday, where these people watched this uh, sacrificing of a small baby, a uh, three-year-old baby, a uh, child, um, in Asia, Asia, Haiti. And after they had uh, beheaded the child and then cooked the child, uh, passed the head around to everybody, um, had their little feast, the final thing was they bury the bones and then put a cross at the head of that grave. Well, what's the cross? What's the meaning of the cross? That's the death of Christ, the payment of sin, the price of sin, um, in order to be reconciled with God. And so they are mixing this Christian religious stuff uh, with uh, and symbology with their own and it's intermixed, the two don't go together. But they're so twisted in their minds, and that's part of the satanic um, uh, uh, agenda is to convolute things in such a way that you can't think straight anywhere. You're not you know, really thinking about what you're doing and what the meaning is of some of these things. The hide in plain sight, uh, in the uh, Lost Books of Eden that I mentioned uh, during the previous interview. Uh, the uh, Satan is portrayed as repeatedly coming and um, disguising himself as an angel of light and singing the praises of God in heaven and all of his demon escort portraying themselves speaking all these wonderful things about heaven and praising God in heaven. 
Adam and, and then fooling Adam and Eve into believing that they were um, angels sent down to help them from God and then trying to lead them astray with all of this goodness and right you know, thought and everything else and then at the end it was a trap every time. Uh, the religions uh, are always a target to get people to drop their guard and their uh, thought processes and then go along blindly because the person is such a good person that, that's telling them these things and promoting something and the reality is they're a snake in the grass um, you know the uh, the scriptures are pretty clear the Old Testament the uh, Mosaic law 